Today, we're going to be making this rotating 3D icon using nothing but Adobe After Effects. So stick around. Okay, we're going to start here with our composition settings. Uh, we have 1280 by 720, 60 frames per second and 15 seconds long. And 3D renderer, you want to select Cinema 4D, there is two options, Classic 3D, but we are going to use Cinema 4D. Uh, just press OK, I've already done that. <coughs> so, now I've got this Batman logo, uh, which we will place in here and make it a bit bigger so a nice size logo to work with okay so we just want to pen round about Okay, so now we have our logo penned out and After Effects, what we want to do is delete the original image and you're left with the outline of the Batman logo. Now, if you select your shape layer, click on Fill, select a colour, probably go for that nice greyish Batman colour. And if we alt click on our stroke uh, until the red line's through it. Now we have our Batman logo filled in with a nice grey and the stroke removed. What we want to do is shape layer one, which we have now named Bat logo, we need to make 3D. Uh, open it up on the geometry options and extrusion depth, we will change to 50. Now we can create a null layer. Uh, if we go to layer, new, and null object. Now we make that a 3D layer and we can move the, move your waypoint on the Z axis to roughly the middle and move this to the very bottom. Now use this little pick whip icon, drag it across and pick whip it to that. So we've picked up bat logo to null object one. Um, now, now what we want to do is add a new camera. So layer new camera, a one node camera, 35 mil, uh, press OK. Uh, layer new light, uh, parallel light, and press OK. Now we can just move uh, this light around. So next we want to uh, rotate it. So we're going to null object, transform. If we change our X axis to say something like 17 degrees, sounds like a nice number. So now we can see it's kind of tipped forward if you look at on the horizontal view. So what we want to do now is create the spinning motion. So if I do Y rotation, click on the little keyframe stopwatch, move it say 6 seconds. And we'll have it rotate twice. Go back to the restart. 
and there we have your 3D Batman icon. Uh, just rotating. What we can add in now is light sweep. So what we want to do is layer new adjustment layer and drag CC light sweep on top. And this creates this light, uh, this light line here. So as it's moving, that will shine across it. So what we'll do is start it here. Click on the little stopwatch for center. Move it to around about halfway. We'll have it shine on it. We'll move the center to the opposite end of the screen. If we just open up our adjustment layer, you can see the keyframes. There we go. So what that basically does is as it's spinning, this light shines across it. So there you have it, a very quick and easy way to create a 3D logo inside of After Effects. Uh, you can do this with any logo that you want uh, that you've created inside of Adobe Illustrator. All you've got to do is add your .ai file in, right click, create shapes from vector file, delete your AI file, and there you go. Just start the same way you would at the beginning of this tutorial. So here are some uh, logos that I've created using the exact same method, some were made inside After Effects, some were made inside Adobe Illustrator. First of all we have the Twitch logo, we also have this G logo that I created using Illustrator. And finally the Batman icon which we created in today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this video guys, can you please leave a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Catch me over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash niaf1991, link is in the description. Uh, and thanks for watching, appreciate it.